Welcome to Tesla Info and today we're going to talk about leaving your car and how to minimize battery or sometimes known as vampire drain. This is really important especially if you're leaving your car for maybe two weeks at, a, at an airport car park. And the trick really is to let the car sleep which means making sure the fewest number of onboard systems are running at any time and there's a few settings we can change to make that happen. The first setting and probably the most important one is sentry mode. While this is great in you know, busy car parks, this is really energy inefficient, so turn this one off. And while you're in the menu, also head down to the cabin overheat protection. While this only runs for 12 hours anyway, it can use an awful lot of energy in that short amount of time. Turning both of those things off will actually be quite a big benefit in themselves. For owners of cars with EAP or FSD, you may have actually turned on standby mode for summon. Um, this is not a commonly enabled feature, but if it is, it actually can use a surprising amount of energy by keeping one of the systems turned on. So again, if you have this enabled, then we suggest turning that off, uh, at least while you're away for a long period of time. A number of these features can also be turned off using the app and here we're going to turn off preconditioning. This can actually turn the heating on or the cooling every day which is probably unwanted while you're away on holiday. While we're on the app, try to avoid waking the car up by accessing or opening up the app. You know, if you're curious to see how much energy has been lost by actually opening the app, you'll actually use energy in doing so. So just leave the app alone. If you're worried, maybe every three or four days checking on the car, but no more than that. And finally, it's third party apps. These are the ones where you've got no knowledge over how often they're opening or waking up the car. And some of the energy apps in particular are quite uh, uh, aggressive in that sense because they're looking to see whether the car should be charged at a cheaper rate or whatever. So again, we avoid turning those off. And if you're not sure how to disable them, changing your Tesla password will invalidate all the third party apps until you re-enable them by giving them a new login password or, or token. And if you do that, you'll lose less than half a percent per day. And actually we reckon it's a lot less than that, maybe only one mile, two miles a day. Enjoy.